In this video, we are going to figure out where we're gonna sew our buttonhole and how big our buttonhole is going to be. So I'm gonna show you, this right here is the buttonhole where we're gonna be sewing. And the size of a buttonhole is dependent on the size of the button. If you have a smaller button, you'll have a smaller buttonhole. If you have a larger button, you'll have a larger buttonhole. So it all depends on your button. This is the button I'm going to be using and the length of my buttonhole. So I'm gonna write this down so we can remember. Button hole length is the diameter of the button plus the height of the button. And I'll show you all of this in just a second so you can see it. So diameter plus the height, it's a plus sign. So I'm gonna get those measurements right here and I will zoom in just a tiny bit so you can see. So here's my button and I'm going to measure my diameter first. So this, remember each of these little ticks is an eighth of an inch. So one eighth, two, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. So my button is just about five eighths. So I'm gonna write that on my piece of paper right here. So my diameter is five eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to measure the height of the button. And my height is right here. So that's one inch. If your button has like one of those shanks or like the little loops on the back, you still measure just the height of it without that shank. So the height of the button that's gonna be going through the buttonhole. So that's one eighth of an inch for me. So I'm gonna add those together. So five eighths plus one eighth. And when I'm adding, I just, my denominator stays the, the same, but I add across the top. So that gives me six eighths. And I can simplify that because I know two goes into six three times and two goes into eight four times. So that gives me three fourths of an inch. So that's going to be the length of my buttonhole. Now I need to put in, I'm going to use that three eighths or three fourths. So I'm going to keep that in mind, but I'm going to make some markings on my button tab. So I'm going to be looking at the right side, not the wrong side. This is the wrong side that has the seam. My right side's right here. And I'm going to make a few measurements. You can use a marking pencil to mark these things down or you can use masking tape. Marking pencils should wash out, but masking tape is a little less permanent even still. So that's what I'm gonna to choose to do. I'm just gonna get a little piece of masking tape ready to go for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first measure 5 eighths inch from the bottom. No matter what your buttonhole length is, you're going to do 5 eighths inch right here because everyone's buttonhole is going to start 5 eighths inch from the bottom. So that can be a little bit confusing, but you can use a marking pencil right here or I could just say, okay, there's my five eighths and this is where my tape should go. And then I move my ruler and just keep that straight and double check that I have five eighths right there. Um, and that's gonna be my line where I know where to stop. And I don't have to put a marking on my actual fabric. So again, this is gonna be five eighths for everyone. This next measurement is going to be what, well, mine's not even five eighths, but it's going to be the length of your buttonhole. So I got three quarters of an inch. You might've gotten five eighths. You might've got half an inch. You might've got one inch by adding the diameter and the height, but I got three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna use my seam gauge here. And here is one quarter, here's two quarters, here is three quarters. So I'm gonna go up three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna use tape again. But again, if you wanted, you could use a marking pencil and just make a line there and make a little eye bar. Cause that's the, this right here is our buttonhole symbol. It's a pattern symbol that you will want to know. It's called an I bar. It looks like a capital I. Um, but I'm going to be making a masking tape marking just so that it doesn't show up on the right side of my fabric. So this is telling me I'm going to start my buttonhole right here. I'm going to end it right here. And then I want to just find where the center is. So this should be about an inch. Mine's just a little bit over an inch. So I'm going to mark just a little bit past half an inch on my masking tape right here. And same thing right here, just a little bit, just in the center. And this is telling me that's where I'm going to start my buttonhole and that's where I'm going to end my buttonhole. Once you have those measure measurements made, you're good to move on. Again, you could have done an eye bar where it just looks like this, where you do a line on the top and a line on the bottom and you do that line right where your buttonhole is going to go. So those are your two options. You don't have to do both, just pick one to do. And this should be 5 eighths from the top and then the measurement of your buttonhole.